All right, you battlers, you know what it is, Jay Devin back at it with another Go Battling video. So, yeah, due to some minor technical difficulties, I don't have my cam up and working right now. I don't know what's going on with it, but um, I'll just put this here. I mean, it's me, right? This counts. This is me. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the main point of the video here to talk about what happened with this PvP update in Pokemon Go for trainer battles. So for the Go Bad League. So there's quite a bit that happened. It's basically themed around the month of April and or a grass theme, I guess, because spring is upon us, right? So first thing I wanted to talk about for this video is going to be um, Bullet Seed. This is the first part of the update. There were um, changes made to a few existing moves in the game, and then there were some new, some brand new move pool additions as well. So that's basically what we're gonna cover in this video. Also, if you're curious um, about my progress on my road to rank 10, I have hit 2,800 rating at this point. Unfortunately, I did not reach my goal of 2,900, but we're still climbing. Anyway, so Bullet Seed here. It is a grass type fast move, as you probably know. Bullet Seed previously, and you know, and historically, hasn't really seen much use at all um, but now it definitely will because it's 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 been made pretty good it's really good now um, a bullet seat now does a five damage um, every time you use the bullet seed it will gain 13 energy and its duration is a three turn move so it can be a little bit slow sometimes you know it's not like it's it's not as fast as dragon breath or water gun right but it's uh, still pretty quick. It's actually really quick for the energy generation. So that's it's it's a really, really good move overall, especially because Bullet Seed was useless before. Now it's not. Um, it's literally comparable to Snarl. It's basically a copy of Snarl now, and we all know how good some Pokemon are with Snarl, right? So yeah, 1.66 damage per turn and 4.33 energy per turn. So that is, well, that's great. That's great. That could be game changing in um, all the formats, so it could be amazing in Great League, Ultra League, and Master League. Um, I'll say this a few times in this video, but most of these changes, in my opinion, are going to be impacting the Great League. All right, the next one here to talk about very briefly is Energy Ball. So Energy Ball is a grass type charge move um, that now does 90 damage for only 55 energy with a 1.63 damage per energy. So that damage per energy is pretty good. It's not amazing. You know, it's not game changing. It's not like it's Hydro Cannon or Meteor Mash or anything, but um, it definitely does buff it. So you'll see some Pokemon that learn Energy Ball um, will have a lot more use and they'll become more meta relevant with Energy Ball. Um, it's it's still not it's still not great but um, on top of that it does have a 10 percent chance of a, a one stage debuff on the opponent's defense there so we have now another potential stat changing move and that's to me that's really exciting i really like that all right and the next move to go over here very briefly that was updated an existing move is leaf tornado so this is another one of those moves that previously did not see much use at all it was kind of a meme if you ran it um I think the best application of Leaf Tornado previously and possibly for the future to come is going to be for Superior, actually, which Superior potentially can have um, major applications in both the Ultra League and the Great League. Maybe not in the Master League, but definitely at least in the Ultra League and the Great League. So Leaf Tornado is a grass type charge move that is now 45 damage for 40 energy. So has 1.12 damage per energy, which is pretty poor. That's very, very poor in terms of you know, the energy cost and how much damage you're going to deal. It's not great, but that's not why you would start using this move. You would start using the move because of that 50% chance of a two-stage debuff on the opponent's attack. A 50% chance. I think that's very, very considerable now, especially because it's a whole two-stage debuff. Um, obviously, you no, know, this isn't, I don't think it's as good as Icy Wind, um, but it's still, it's still, it's still much better. It's still a lot better, especially because a lot of picks and a lot of Pokemon that have Leaf Tornado have very fast energy generating fast moves. Now let's go over some of the moves that were nerfed and or debuffed. Basically, they're made worse than they were before. And some of these are kind of a bummer, um, especially in all leagues, but I do like how the meta has changed potentially with all of these. Uh, the first one here is going to be Ancient Power, which is a rock type charge move. As you know, um, Giratina altered in the Ultra League is amazing if it gets that Ancient Power boost. And it's the same thing with Ominous Wind on a Giratina Origin, if they get that boost in the Master League. Um, Basically, it was it was kind of taking a shot at the at the Giratinas in the Ultra League and the Master League. I think to open up the meta a little more and to make it more accessible for trainers who don't have those top picks double moved. You know the max Hundo legendaries and whatnot. Um, but it was nerfed as you can see. So now it's 45 damage for 45 energy, which is one DPE. That's one damage per energy. That's pretty bad. It's pretty stinking bad. Um, it does still have the 10% chance though of the uh, two stage. 
uh, buff on the attack and the defense. So it's it's basically just more risky now. It's higher risk um, for that same reward. Um, really, I wish they would just debuff the the stages itself. Like if they if they debuffed, you know, if they if they changed it to be just a one stage attack and defense boost for 10% chance, and then they kept the um, damage and the damage per energy the same, then I would I would have been fine with that. I think it would have been better that way. It's pretty much the uh, exact same thing with Silverwind. Silverwind was also nerfed, um, which is the bug type charge move. I think the most well-known Pokemon for the most part that uses Silverwind is going to be Venomoth. Unfortunately, it was nerfed. It has that same 10% chance of the uh, two-stage buff on your own attack and defense but it was made exactly the same thing as Ancient Power. So it's 45 damage for 45 energy and just one DPE. And it was the uh, same thing, unfortunately, for Ominous Wind. They're literally just um, Ominous Wind and Silver Wind and Ancient Power are all basically the same move now with just different typings. 45 damage, 45 energy, one damage per energy, and that same 10% chance of a two-stage buff on your own attack and defense. So this does take a quite a big hit for Giratina Origin in the Masters League because it's not going to be, you know, quite as baitable. It doesn't have the bait and throw the Shadow Ball nuke plays like it used to have. Um, if they, you know, bait with an Ominous Wind and they don't get the boost, that's going to be very, very unfortunate for them. So um, I still think Giratina Origin is going to be used a lot in the Masters League. I think you'll still see it a lot, but I just, I just don't think it's going to be, you know, quite as common. I just don't think it's going to be quite as good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new move pool additions into the game. So these aren't brand new moves. These moves have already been here. These are simply moves that are added to the um, move pool for Pokemon that were not there before. So first two example, um, I guess the first example here, as you can see, was a Bullet Seed. So Bullet Seed did get added to two new Pokemon's move pools. That would be Cradilly and uh, Blossom there. So um, they're both mainly going to be applicable and usable with this new move in the uh, Great League, in my opinion, at least. I think, you know, there could be some crazy strategies we see come up where you, we can see play with both of these, but more specifically with Blossom in the Ultra League and maybe even in the Masters League too. I doubt it, but, you know, there are matchups they can do very well in, right? Like Blossom can destroy Groudon, Kyogre, etc. Um, this ex this impacts both of them very greatly because previously they didn't really have great moves, right? The best energy generation move Cordelia had previously was Infestation, which is pretty poor because it did not get same type attack bonus and it was very slow and he just did not perform that well. I mean, some people would bring him to some niche Sylph Cups, but he didn't really see major use, especially he did not see a lot of use at all in the Go Bad League for the top meta. Um, now that might end up changing since he's going to have access to Bullet Seed and it is a copy of Snarl because of the move pool he has access to. So he has, I believe, a Grass Knot, but also more importantly, Stone Edge. So he can hit Flyers and then he can also hit Waters, Grounds, Mud Boys, etc. The next one to go over here is going to be a Jump Pluff, which um, again, I think mostly is just going to be applicable in the Great League. But Jump Pluff actually can do a lot of work in the Ultras League and believe it or not, it can also completely destroy some picks in the Masters League as well, which is crazy. But uh, Jump Pluff was given access to Aerial Ace in its move pool, and since it already has access to Bullet Seed, that makes it more threatening against picks that will take super effective from any of the charge moves that it has access to in its move pool, which now it does have Aerial Ace, right? So it can hit the Grass for super effective, it can hit the Flying for super effective. I believe it has access to Dazzling Gleam as well too, so it can, I mean, it can already hit the Fighters, um, but with Dazzling Gleam, you can also hit the Darks, right? You can hit an Umbreon in the Great League. You can hit um, the Dragons. You can hit the Dragons with Dazzling Gleam now um, more reliably than you ever could before. And yeah, Jump Pluff is probably going to end up seeing a lot more play now. A lot more indeed. And the next pick here, which you might not like running into this Pokemon in the wild because it can be a huge, huge pain to catch. Me, myself, I've done it before where I use you know, 10 or 12 golden raspberries and ultra balls on this Pokemon and I still don't catch it. As you can see, it is a Cherum or at least the, uh, you know, the sunny form or the day form of Cherum. Um, again, I think it's mostly going to be applicable in the uh, Great League overall, but um, it's a, it's going to be really good as well because now it does have access to Weather Ball. That's the new um, addition to its move pool from this update for the April grass update, whatever this is. Um, but now that it has access to Weather Ball, um, you could see this make plays against the against the main core 
in the Great League. So this is going to be another core breaker that people are going to have relatively easy access to, um, especially if you catch it when it's boosted. And also note that even the Evolve form is only 10,000 Stardust for an additional charge move. So it's not very expensive and it can perform very well. So I believe the only fast moves it has access to are going to be Bullet Seed and Razor Leaf. Uh, but now that Bullet Seed is buffed and it has this coverage move with Weather Ball, um, a set you might see being run is, you know, Bullet Seed, Weather Ball, and then Solar Beam. Since it can get to Solar Beam pretty quick now, this might see a lot of play. And last but certainly not least for the new move pool additions is going to be none other than Tangrowth, the big grass monster hairball looking like thing here. Tangrowth is also potentially going to have application in all leagues, actually. I think it's going to be used the most and most efficiently in uh, the Great League and the Ultra League, respectively, but it also can have play against Groudon and Kyogre in the Masters League. So um, it was interesting to note with this move pool edition that they gave it access to Rock Slide, and I think that's because they nerfed Ancient Power previously, and, you know, Tangrowth was not their main target with nerfing Ancient Power. I'm pretty sure they were going for picks like Togekiss and Giratina Origin and Giratina Altered. So I think they just felt bad since they nerfed the only main coverage move that it had access to. So they gave it, so they just, they gave it Rock Slide here, which I like. I'm a fan of that. Thank you very much, Niantic, for having that applied, um, especially because ancient power was like destroyed <laughs> rest in peace ancient power now that's basically it as far as what i have to cover and to you know briefly talk about for this video on this um basically this move balance this rebalance update that they put in for pokemon go pvp right for go battle league and or obviously it'll have application to self cups as well it can be very very game changing i'm very excited especially because we have new core breakers now with that with that sunny cherim if you go bullet seed weather ball and solar beam you can own Registeel in the Great League, and you can also own Azumarill. You can own the Mud Boys. It's going to be very, very, very exciting. And you have baitable plays with the Weather Ball now, too. So, the battlers, as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you feel my vibe. Power up, punch the notification bell for all that PvP content. That's it for this video. We will see you in the next video. Have a good stinking day.